is my hand. I'm gonna talk with my hand today. Well, today, um, oh, whatever. Today, I made something on the bathtub for my gerbils, and it's kind of like a little tunnel thing, and then it goes into a big box, which is kind of like a place where they can hang out, and then another box, and then they can come out that way. But this is basically what I got. So, as you can see, I have boxes lined up, but I tape them together, and I put holes big enough for them to, um, like, slip through and I connect them all together so it makes one little system here so it's kind of like a little thing if I had paper mache and sand I'd be able to make it look like a dune with lots of hard work and wire but sadly I don't have that so right now it's staying like this um, as you can see I use a, an aluminum foil um, box that has no more aluminum foil in it and it's empty and I opened up the sides and I connected that side to a um, trash bag box and that leads into that and that's a little compartment and then right here is another one and this is also the place they can in enter or get out so I'll show you what you can do with the lollipop one because since the lollipop um box it has like this thing on it so you can open it without opening the whole box and so if you can find a box like that you can use that and basically all you have to do is take that lid that already comes with the box and you can open it to check on your gerbils or if you need to get them out but I only put it on this one because the box already has it so yeah, and it's not that complicated to make. I made it in between 15 minutes, I guess. It was really easy. It's a great idea. They love coming in and out of it. Sometimes they even sleep in it. And you can also make a huge little mansion one that I just made. If you ever lose your gerbil and you need to find it, because as they go through your house, they're looking for places to sleep. Something cozy that has privacy. And if you make one of these things, if you make one of these things, then they'll go into it because they'll be used to the box if you usually give them boxes to play in. And they'll just sleep in it overnight. And it helps if you throw some of the favorite treats or food in there because they will look for food supply on the ground too because they don't have their bowl that's usually in their cage on the ground. So they'll have to find it. And the reason I made this, and I'm giving an example of it, is because my friend, um, the other amateurness, the other one who goes on this channel and posts, only a couple times though, I tried to get her to do it, but she, her friend, Yasmin, has, um, a dwarf hamster, but one day, the cage was open, yada yada yada, jumped off the table and escaped. They thought it was in the fence and it lasted for a whole day and everyone was crying. But then the next day they found it underneath the stove and they lowered it out with a carrot. And as you can see, she was underneath the stove. So they basically like to go somewhere where it's dark and private. So this could help if you put a little bit of treats in and the box is really good. Especially if you have a dwarf hamster because they think this is bigger than a gerbil thinks of it, so they'll slightly stay in here. So this is my setup for when I put my gerbils in the bathtub. And as you can see, some of them are walking around in it. Um, these are the boys, the white, the gray one with the white that just went in the box is Chico, and the one out here right now is Marco. And if you didn't see my other videos before, I'm just going to show you what I got at Petco. Because this is a good idea for them to sleep in, and it conserves a lot of heat. Be right back. So it still has the bedding in it, but that's alright. 
But this is the acorn hut. It's ceramic, so it holds in the heat if you have more than one gerbil sleeping under there. And I just wanted to show it to you because if you don't want an edible thing, this is completely perfect and safe too. So that was just something I wanted to show you on the side. Be right back again. Okay, so thank you for watching. If you got an idea, hopefully you can make one too. And if you have a lost durable, comment below if you would need any other ideas in this similar for you. And see you later. Say bye, gerbils. Here, let me get a gerbil for you. Say bye. Say bye. Yeah, he just wants to go down and play. So, can't wait to see the next video. Thank you for watching, and hopefully you guys can subscribe. See you later.